Uh, gestational diabetes is a condition where the mom just gets diabetes during the pregnancy, and this is because the placenta works against the action of the body's own insulin. Uh, if diabetes is uncontrolled during, uh, during the pregnancy, the baby can be extremely large, and it can be a difficult delivery, and the shoulder could get trapped. That's called a shoulder dystocia, or the mom can have a cesarean delivery. And, and I'm going to get back. I, I guess I'm singing the same song over and over, but it's very important. If, if a mother, for example, is in her first pregnancy and she has gestational diabetes and the baby gets too big and she has a cesarean delivery, in many, many practices, she will be destined to have a cesarean delivery for all of her subsequent pregnancies. And to put this in perspective, there's something called placenta accreta, A-C-C-R-E-T-A. -E placenta accreta is where the placenta gets stuck in the uterus and doesn't come out and it's really an obstetrical emergency. If you've had two previous cesarean deliveries and the placenta is low, your risk of having placenta accreta, of the placenta being stuck, is about two-thirds, two-thirds of the time. So it's critically important to avoid that first cesarean delivery. If you avoid that first cesarean delivery, the likelihood of you having another one is extremely small. It's about 4% as opposed to 40%. So the way this ties into diabetes is that it's really important to be under good control so that is not a 10-pound and 11-pound baby uh, that would mandate a cesarean delivery. Um, we're seeing more and more older mothers. I've had women in my practice now that are 54 and 55. So what we define as advanced maternal age has changed a lot, but certainly we see a lot of women that are over 35 or 40. And there's definitely an increased risk of diabetes and hypertension, cesareans and preterm 